folks. This is Michael with the Photon Writer. My name is Michael Knapp. Big shout out today to Karen from Karen's Photo Creations for the use for photos. Folks, And I've said it every tutorial. I'm going to continue to say it. This is for your purpose of practice and there's no commercial use of these photos whatsoever without our written permission, Karen's or mine. With that said, let's move right along. We had left off with the patch tool and what we're going to do now is we're going to come into the photograph we're going to make a composite, and that's known uh, in the shortcut world as Control Shift Alt E. And notice it took the open layers and made a, a, a separate layer out of that, and there it is. Okay, and that's just uh, it makes it easier. We've got our composite. Now we're going to bring in the old Wicked Witch here, the She Devil herself. File, place, in Photoshop. Remember I told you don't worry about the uh, width and the height, just worry the, about the resolution. And the reason is you have the free transform tool. We don't need her full size. Enter. Um, what do you think we're going to use here again, folks? That's correct. The FX. And I'm just going to simply go whoop and drop her out. I want to keep the horns. I want to keep some of the detail. Perfect. Again, you would have masked into your blue in the face to uh, save that edge just that perfectly. Now, there's obviously some things we need to take care of. I've put a layer mask up here. I'm going to pick a brush and not the fire brush. I'll come in here and pick the... Yeah, that'll work. And we're going to do some heavy lifting, so I just need a big brush. And... Um, I gotta make sure that this is inside the screen area. Here's our mask. We're in black. We've got a brush. It is a hundred percent. No, it's not. Zero for a hundred percent opacity. Actually, I'm going to lower this brush down, and that is your left bracket. Now, again, I want to paint this out. When I use black, and this is selected, notice the little rectangle here. Rectangle moved to here. Now it's there. Now the mask is active and we just come in and get rid of what we don't want again if we had tried to mask her out and just keep that outline oh mercy that would have been a big job okay if you hold your uh, control alt no just just push down your Z key excuse me I get confused myself doing this forever and we want to make a big so I when I hold down my Z key and it turns to the um, magnifying glass and if I keep it held I can switch between tools without actually going to switch to the magnifying tool okay control alt Z I hit her make my brush smaller okay I don't want that. I want a little bit of this noise right here of fire from the previous. I want to clean this up a little. Just a little. Not much. Okay, it's a pretty good mask. I can still see that. Now remember the trick. If you hold down your uh, control key and add a layer, come up here with your F, uh, Shift F5, uh, fill with white, now I can see what wasn't masked. I'm holding down my spacebar, folks. See it turning to the little hand. Paintbrush, hand. Paintbrush, hand. Paintbrush, hand. That's done with the spacebar. Okay, so now we can see where we did not. Ah, remember, your mask has got to be active. We're not even on the right layer, folks. It happens. Okay. And I should have known because I saw it was white and I just changed it to to um, black. Here we go. We're painting out what we didn't get and that's simply putting a layer below holding your control key using the layer add a layer. Boom. And This just gives me a real good guide on what I want and what I don't. Um, I can get rid of that. I don't need this noise right here. Um, I like some of this. I want her face. Don't need that. Um, just get some of this gone, get rid of that. 
Um, can't really tell that's your hand. Get rid of that. But that's pretty cool. And get rid of some of this. And we're just touching up the mask. Remember, we used Blend If. And what would have taken hours to mask is done in just moments. Okay. So uh, we'll go over here, turn this off, and we're going to pick our V tool. I'm working with a Cintig, and um, that means that my mouse is right here on the screen. So you will see me um, not always use my keyboard shortcuts because simply my mouse is not down here on my table. My mouse is in my hand, and my hand you can't see, but it is directly it's just like if you were had an ink pen in your hand um, and we're holding the ink pen right over the spot and that's that's sometimes I forget um, that I'm blessed with some really cool stuff okay so we learned how to use the blend if and a uh, layer mask um, this will be the end of tutorial 4 I thank you for joining me on the photon rider have a great day and God bless you